Hi everyone. It's Sunday. Um, I got up this morning at 5.45 to plan this trip. I, it's not an extraordinary trip, I'm just quite excited about it. Today I'm going to Luke's Field in Kent, which is home of the Eurofox. I'll be handing this aircraft over to the amazing Luke and Steve Williams, a father and son team who build these aircraft and maintain them. And I'm doing that for three reasons. Firstly, uh, this aircraft is ready for a service and I'd like to get that done before the season started because, uh, or starts because um, I'd like to be able to use the aircraft as much as possible. Secondly, I'm aiming to have this aircraft recertified under the new 600 kilogram legislation. For those of you who are not aware, the license type that I hold allows me to fly aircraft with a maximum takeoff weight of 450 kilograms. Uh, for the Americans, that's this in pounds. The limit is for the entire weight of the aircraft, plus the passengers, plus baggage, plus fuel. So for that reason, it can be quite limiting. Now recently, the legislation has changed, which allows us to have aircraft which are certified at factory level or tested to a higher weight to be recertified to 600 kilograms, which for the Americans is this in pounds. And what that means is that uh, with a little bit of uh, further training, which is both theoretical and also practical, uh, we can then have the aircraft recertified and our license type changed so that I can fly air this aircraft at a heavier weight. Now this particular aircraft is only certified up to 560 kilograms, but that's amazing. Now, the reason why I want to have that done is um, because hopefully over this coming summer, even I will be able to travel further afield, certainly within the country, but also not only that, maybe into France and push further deeper into Europe. And the other reason that I'm having the weight change is because I'd like to add autopilot. And that's in fact for the same reason. I know that an aircraft of this type certainly probably doesn't need autopilot. And one would argue, the purists I would say, would argue that it's not necessary. Um, but given that uh, Eve has no interest in learning to fly, although she's amazing at picking up information, uh, most notably she's really good at her navigation now and also uh, she's great with the radio, as you may have seen from other videos. What it means is that if we're flying somewhere, Eve uh, obviously won't be able to take the controls and for that reason it'll reduce pilot workload if I could just switch on the autopilot and then have a look at either my navigation or communication or whatever it is that's occupying my mind at that time. And it just reduces the workload for me a little bit. So that's why we're traveling across or why I'm traveling across today with the aircraft. Um, it's about a two hour flight. It should be quite nice. The weather is great. The wind is a little bit bearable. It seems to be 090 today, which is not the most favorable of directions. We're up to temperature now. Spyview, Golf Charlie, Oscar Charlie, Golf taxing to hold of runway 04, Spyview. Um, stick forward because we've got uh, a tailwind this time. Right, so we're going to do our pre-flight checks. Um, although we're not parked directly into wind, it's as close as I can get without uh, causing trouble. Area around is clear. Brakes are on and locked. Amp meter, demonstrating a positive rate of charge. Controls full and free. Doors and straps. Avionics, all avionics on. Transponder set to 7000 alt. Commence reading correctly. All temperatures up to 70 now. Oil pressure's good. Fuel pressure's good. Batteries uh, 14 volts. Lane A and B both 14 volts. EGTs all roughly the same. Coolant 75. Oil flap in and closed. Fuel taps open. One, two, three. Contents 25 this side, 25 that side. That's 50 liters more than enough. 
trim set for takeoff, flaps first stage, wind check, I'm on 04 I think, landing lights switch to on, we'll do our lookout. Okay, so there's nothing on the crosswind. Nothing on the downwind. Nothing on base. Spyview, Golf Charlie, Oscar Charlie Golf, lining up runway 04, Spyview. One last look, down final and approach. Right, brakes are off, fuel pumps are on, fuel taps are open, flaps are set. Right, uh, aerolons into the wind. Here we go. My view, Golf Charlie, Oscar Charlie Golf will be departing on the downward leg to the south and then off to the east. View. Right, I, bro I broke the cardinal sin on takeoff. I got distracted from watching my airspeed and rather focusing on flying the aircraft, I focused on the iPad that was falling away from the instrument panel and because of that my airspeed dropped a lot lower than it should have done. Uh, that's a really important lesson for me. I think in the future I will just totally ignore what's going on and fly the aircraft and of course everyone knows aviate, navigate, communicate and uh, I blo broke that rule so that's a bit of a learning point for me today. Okay so I'm going to climb and turn off to the left. Solon Radar, Eurofox Golf, Charlie, Oscar Charlie Golf, requesting zone transit. Golf, Charlie, Oscar Charlie Golf, Solon Radar, good morning, call 3660 and touch you to go. 3660, Eurofox Golf, Charlie, Oscar Charlie Golf, from Salisbury to Kent VFR, currently north of Bean Morgan's Vale, 1800 feet, requesting basic service and zone transit, routing via Romsey and Bishop's Welcome. Golf Charlie Golf, budget to basic service initially, Solon QNH 1028. Basic service 1028, Golf Charlie Golf.
I was hoping to be a little more slick than that with my uh, first transit call, but uh, it was not to be. Got to you got the stick in your current position. Current position around um, eight miles, not eight nautical miles west of your zone. Got to tell you, Charlie, got to do quick. Trying to do Southampton CTR, not above altitude, 2,000 feet PFR. Approved transit, not above 2,000 feet VFR, Golf Charlie Golf. That's my first zone transit, I have to admit, it's not the most finessed request, but it's my first time. A little bit more turbulent than I anticipated. Golf report your level, please. 1,700 on 1,028. Golf Charlie Golf. Roger. Golf Charlie Golf entering controlled airspace. Radar control. Radar control. Golf Charlie Golf. Wow, I can see the uh, I can see Southampton Airport now, which is amazing. It's so surreal to be flying over that, um, and knowing that I'm flying through controlled airspace uh, for the first time on my own without an instructor, which is a little intimidating. As I said earlier, I was hoping to be a little bit more slick and finessed, but uh, hopefully that will come with time. Very steep learning curve for me today. I'm over Romsey now. You can probably see that on the camera on the outside, assuming it's still running. Uh, that's our second visual reporting point. I expect they'll probably be in touch with me fairly soon. Golf Charlie Golf, left controlled airspace, or Tim Name of Service, call Conspiracy. Yes, that's free call from Lars on 125 decimal T50. Goodbye. Hunter QT 125350, Golf Charlie Golf, thank you very much. Golf Charlie Golf, the frequency was 125250. 125250, Golf Charlie Golf. Eurofox Golf, Charlie Oscar, Charlie Golf, requesting basic service. Golf, Charlie Oscar, Charlie Golf, Umbrella, good morning, Parchment. Eurofox Golf, Charlie Oscar, Charlie Golf, from Salisbury to Kent, BFR, currently overhead Romsey, 1500 feet on QNH 1028, just requesting a basic service. Golf, Charlie Golf, Squawk 0430, basic service, Farm QNH 1027. 0430-1027, Golf Charlie Golf. Golf Charlie Golf, say again, departure and destination. Departing Salisbury, destination Lukesfield in Kent. Golf Charlie Golf. Golf Charlie Golf, thank you. Golf Charlie Golf, Squawk 0430. Squawk 0430, Golf Charlie Golf. Golf Charlie Golf, 